Game four, Yankees and Indians. The Yanks trying to even the series and force a game five. That'll get everyone fired up in New York. The legend, Mariano Rivera, throwing out the first pitch. Luis Severino on the hill trying to rebound from that wild card start. Pick things up in the second scoreless game. Todd Frazier with the man on facing Trevor Bauer. Breaking ball line down the left field line. It is a base hit. One hop off the wall. Scoring is Castro. Frazier to second with a double. It's a ribby double for Todd Frazier. So now Aaron Hicks. Into the gap in right center field. Frazier's going to score easily. 2 nothing Yankees. Judge struck out his first time. Swung on and line deep. Down the left field line. That ball is one hop off the left field wall. Hicks scores. Gardner scores. Judge the second with a double. The Yankees have erupted for four runs in the second inning. Hit on the ground to third. Urshela goes to first high. Safe. And a run scored. How do y'all like that? You can't take anything for granted in this game. Santana's gone on to hit 287 after the break. 50 points higher than before the midseason layoff. Into center field and well hit. Hicks is back, still on the move, and that one is gone. A two out, two run home run by Carlos Santana. And the pitch, a high pop to shallow left. Gardner coming in, coming in, makes the catch. Seve has a one, two, three. Now here's Gary Sanchez. Swung on, hit in the air to deep right. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. He is the Santino. Oh, that Gary is scary. Gary Sanchez goes the other way and rips one in the lower seats in right. The difference a second opportunity is made for Luis Severino in this postseason. A ball and two strikes. Hey, this guy Fastball away, and then he lets the emotion show. Three and two. On the ground is shortstop. Gregorius to Bird. And Luis Severino's night is complete. Three, the final as the Yankees win both games at home and tie the series up with the Indians at two apiece. Luis Severino rebounds from that tough wild card outing to pick up his first career postseason win. He allows three runs in seven innings, striking out nine. Tommy Canley, two scoreless innings to pick up his first career postseason save. Brett Gardner, two hits in RBI and a run scored. It'll be a winner take all game five back in Cleveland on Wednesday night. CC Sabathia up against Corey Kluber. For more on the Yankees' Game 4 victory, we go back to Yankee Stadium, Tim McMaster and Jeff Nelson. The Yankees won Game 4 of the ALDS, or the Indians lost it, depending on how you look at it. Tim McMaster with Jeff Nelson, four errors leading to six runs. Well, it's pretty incredible because Urshela, the third baseman for the Indians, one of the finest fielders, third baseman, that's one of the reasons why he's there. Boots the ball, four unearned runs in the second inning, and then the throwing error led, led to another one. So six unearned runs out of the seventh runs that the Yankees scored. It's just incredible. I mean, the one good thing is that the Yankees capitalized on the Indians' mistakes, but this is not an Indians team that make a lot of mistakes. The fact that we've been able to play in some of these games, I think, helps. You play in the game, Minnesota, you play in a game where you're down two to nothing, you're down two to one, you're facing a guy that we really didn't do anything off of. Um, the, the last time so I mean obviously we know we're facing a great pitcher but there's a lot of confidence in that room and they and they pick each other up and they grind out at bats and pitchers make pick each other up and make big pitches so it should be a lot of fun Wednesday of course you know I hear the you know the stadium calling my name so you know I know that I got to go over there and get that extra you know that I, that I have that I work all year so you know I just want to go over there you know try to have fun and, and help the team win there's a number of things. I mean, you can, in a one game, you know, you just, you know, what, what we ultimately care about is when it's over, we're one run better than them, however we do it. But it makes it easier when 
you know, the guys up top are setting the tone for it. It's very uncharacteristic of us. Um, that's not something we're worried about continuing, you know. Um, like you said, like you mentioned, we've played great defense all year. I think we're one of the best, if not the best, defensive team in the league. I could be off on that, but um, yeah, it's just uncharacteristic for us.